Hey there, everybody. Welcome to the newest Big Brother 22 All-Stars Live Beat Spoilers. It's, we usually do an evening update. This is like a late afternoon update. It's a little bit different. Yeah, we have a veto winner. There you go. And it is, drum roll. Hold on, wait for it. Before we <laughs> share it, if you guys like this video, give us a like, subscribe. That is the ultimate tease. But hey, hit that notification bell, support us further. Check those links to the store. <laughs> Shirts, mugs, other great stuff. Also, our Patreon live chats are there last Sunday of every month. All right, now we'll tell you who won the veto. If anybody had Cody as a winner, <laughs> that's the winner. Yeah. Here we are, guys. Janelle or Case are going home unless some magic twist comes in and makes everything different. Yeah, it sounds like this was a timed sort of puzzle competition, which on the surface you would think, okay, you know, Tyler and Cody, they were the two people who I think any Janelle and Kaser fan had to be worried about because Bailey and Memphis, I wasn't sure about them coming into this. But ultimately, it sounds like Tyler was probably second place, so it, honestly it didn't even sound like Janelle and Kaser got that close to winning it, unfortunately. Obviously, we haven't seen the competition because they don't play it on the live feeds, but I am at least appreciative that this felt like a veto that anybody could win. Yeah. And that's nice because the last veto, I'm sure Nicole Anthony walked in there and was like, really? I got to hold this thing up with my arms. I'm this small. There was no way she was going to win that. So it sounds like puzzle. Maybe everybody has an equal chance. I will say, I hope this opens the eyes to some people within this Memphis Blob Alliance group that, you know, going far in the game with Cody and Tyler, yeah, sure, if you're going to get rid of Janelle this week, get rid of Janelle this week, it's your prerogative, but these two dudes, they're good in physical competitions, mm -hmm. Cody seemingly just won a mental competition, they're not bad. I know some of the bigger guys don't always do great in endurance, but they're not terrible in that either. These guys could just smoke everyone at the end of this game. Absolutely. And there is a time to take them out, but it's real early. And having <laughs> big other bigger targets around you are always a good thing. It's, it's obviously a bummer to any Janelle fan out there, ourselves included. I, I, I wanted, <laughs> and you know, there is still a chance for some crazy last second shenanigans. Maybe they'll get rid of Kaser. Maybe there will be an America's Care package that magically <laughs> falls into the backyard on Monday. The problem is most of the Blob Alliance, they want out Janelle. And after the talk that we saw with Kaser and Tyler, I'm sure he probably also wants Kaser to stick around because it seems like, you know, if Tyler needs to work with Kaser a little bit later on, that might be an option. It, it just seems like in general, people, I don't know if they're necessarily going to actually get rid of Kaser next week. There's been talk about it, but you see people like Tyler and we've seen people like Ian who are sort of thinking... Maybe I can store him away in my back pocket and he can be somebody that can help me later on in the event that Janelle goes. There's that possibility there. Well, it also depends on, of course, who wins HOH because, you know, if it's Kevin, is he really just going to go after Kaser? He might not. I mean, you don't know. And Memphis... Uh, you never know what's going on with him. And then Danny and Nicole F, have they, they've been kind of talking a little bit about Tyler. It may be too early to pull the curtain on that, yeah. but they've been talking about it. I, I will say that I, you know, I, I at least am happy that both Janelle and Kaser, they had two opportunities to get out of this situation. They, they had the HOH. They did not win that. They both got a chance to play in the veto. Mm -hmm. I... I can't be mad and say, oh, they didn't have chances. They had chances, and they just, they haven't really won a lot of the necessary competitions this season. Kaser won that safety sweep, but he was only competing against Janelle. Yeah, it's true. So, yeah, I mean, that's been a bit of a bummer that they just haven't really been able to secure the wins. Yeah, and that was what Janelle was known for for so many years, as being that sort of comp beast and the rest of her game, unfortunately... It doesn't really it doesn't really stack up on that same level as her comp game, but for me, this is the biggest point of curiosity I have if Kaser ultimately can last a little while. Mm -hmm. We've never seen Kaser play Big Brother without Janelle. He's always had Janelle. What 
Is this going to be a total disaster or could it actually be interesting? It could, I think it's going to be interesting, especially when he does step into that kind of dad role. I mean, it could sort of endear people to him. It could make him look like he's less of a target. It could help him get a little bit further in the game if the Blob Alliance does start turning. I think next week's HOH is going to be an interesting one because... Yeah, you know, Kaser could be the easy target, but I mean, if Memphis gets in there, Ian's the target. It's it's not Kaser. Yeah. So, I mean, there are other people to target. I just think the longer this week goes around, and this is a provided that Janelle goes, I just think that other targets are going to make themselves bigger targets because people are going to be bored and people are going to say some nonsense and they're going to blow up their own games as long as Kaser, and I know this is not easy for Kaser, as long as Kaser doesn't do anything crazy and start bringing up some other cockamamie schemes yep. to other people, he might be able to just sort of lay back and let other people ruin themselves. Yeah, because there is a little bit of drama around this, which is that Danny thinks that Memphis threw it. And if that really is the case, which is interesting because Memphis has said he doesn't want to throw anything yeah. this season, but if he so obviously threw it, even though it sounds like Tyler was sort of close on Cody's heels, Danny might might have been worried, like, why are you throwing this? You're part of our alliance. Why wouldn't you want to win it and just keep things the same? Are you trying to let them win it? Like, what is going on? So, Memphis, I don't know, man, what are you doing? <laughs> this is the thing. It, like, it's always possible that Memphis didn't even throw it and he was just awful. But it's possible. if you actually are throwing a competition, you have to walk a fine line because you can't just be like, I don't know where this piece of puzzle goes. You can't, like, go, like, full that. You gotta be, like, I'm confused. I'm confused. You still gotta be, like, running around and acting like you're trying. Yeah, you do. And so, I mean, if Danny could point that out, that could then sort of shift that target again back to Memphis. I mean, he just had a kind of crazy HOH. He seemed to kind of level out a little bit yeah. now. But, I mean, if he's doing stuff like that... He's so unpredictable to this alliance that he's going to end up having to go or he's going to sink them. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of hope he does sink them because that will be more fun. Yep. The, also, I find really fun the, the rationale that the blob is trying to use to keep Memphis over, you know, keep, uh, sorry, keep Kaser over Janelle. Mm -hmm. It's twofold. It's like, number one, they think Kaser is not a great player, which, you know, the results, unfortunately, they have kind of spoken to that the past couple of seasons he's been on. But also the, we're going to get rid of Janelle, and then she can't get the power from America. And it's like they assume that somehow Kaser is not going to get the power from America, and that it's going to go to one of them then. Which is crazy, because... They've all been, a lot of them are new school. They know that it always goes to the underdog every <laughs> single time. It doesn't matter if it is a diamond power of Vito, a super, actual superpowers like Kaser learns to fly or something. Kaser's getting that power. Yeah, he is. If there's even a power, please let there be a power. Let's all be big brother hypocrites now and hope for a power that can screw over other people in the season. Again, I'm still very curious if Janelle leaves, if this thing that she's told everybody that they're keeping her until mid-September, if this is really yeah. true, we are going to find out on Thursday if that is true. This is where the tinfoil hats really come into play. Yep. Where Julie is like, and now it's time for the battle back. And oh, we only have one person competing. It's Janelle. <laughs> Welcome back! Oh, yeah, I know. Or they give her an even easier version of the puzzle that Caitlyn completely bungled in the greatest puzzle challenge in Big Brother history. And it's just one big piece you have to stand up. Yeah, it's like, okay, <laughs> Janelle, put this car, this like cutout of yourself into this hole in the wall that is shaped entirely like Janelle. Okay, in the comments, give us your favorite tinfoil hat <laughs> competition that Janelle is going to win to get back into the game. And does anybody else out there think that that's going to happen on Thursday? That even though we've had people go home, that yeah. now all of a sudden, magically, it is going to be a battle back. Yeah, I, it's like, historically over time, I do know there's always a lot of people who say, oh, I, I, I'll stop watching if X person leaves or if Y person leaves. But typically... <laughs> You know, the ratings, maybe they'll dip t a tiny bit, but usually people stick with shows even after their favorites go. So I don't know if that will be an influence, but I do think they want people to have a positive opinion 
of this season, and they're going to enjoy it more if Janelle is around, but you also have to have at least some integrity in the game. You can't just make it where... You, I don't even think Janelle would like it if Janelle was handed the season on a silver platter. No way, I don't... I think she's here to earn it. And so, you know, if there is some sort of twist, as funny as it is to have it be the Grodner special of put the, the One Piece puzzle <laughs> together, you know, I, I would hope it would be a little bit worthy, but... We got to talk about the Nicole of it all now. Okay, so Nicole's been having it seems a pretty a pretty bad day here, okay? <laughs> so earlier we did a video, she's having a problem with Bailey. Bailey made a joke that Danny made the same joke, except she's really upset with Bailey. So she was already upset earlier. Now she's very scared again. She has been very scared of a lot of people this season. Yeah. And now she is scared that Janelle is going to basically ruin her game as she walks out the door. What? What is Janelle going to do? Like, th this is the part of Nicole's, I'm so afraid that Janelle is going to blow everything up for me. Like, is she afraid that Janelle is going to come out and start, like, spewing facts about the amazing race? I don't think these people care about the amazing race that much, to be totally honest. And she's already told people. So <laughs> that's the thing. Like, I don't know what it is that Nicole thinks Janelle has on her that Janelle hasn't already brought into the house and hasn't already told people or that people may have already known before they came in and were just like, we just don't care. Like, it's so crazy watching Nicole do this where she's scared of Nicole Anthony and the ghosting and she's now yeah. you know, upset with Bailey and now she's scared of Janelle and she was scared of Janelle before <laughs> like we're only like a couple weeks into this yeah. and if she keeps doing that by the time she actually gets to something that she should be scared about yeah. Yeah. nobody's going to believe her and I mean it's already at the point that I yeah. think people are just getting really sick of this how about just be scared of the fact that you're in an alliance with two people and Cody and Tyler who can steamroll a lot of these comps and Memphis has done really well with these competitions and you want to be sort of aware of a possible bro alliance. We know that there's not like one full all bro alliance or anything, but no. Janelle would be the third woman who was gone from this season right. in three weeks. Yeah, it's not good. And I just... Yeah, I just don't know that this gameplay is going to get her much further than this. I feel like at this point, Nicole F. is starting to put the target on herself with this. Because yeah. nobody really wants to put up with this all summer slash fall long. <laughs> like, it's too much. That is the only thing that I think Janelle can actually do to Nicole. Is Janelle can sort of be like, I just want to remind everybody that... Nicole's game, she's going to skate by really far because she's going to be upset. She's going to cry. She's going to really blame other people when things don't go her way. But she's going to do that and be very sneaky and be a snake and, like, bring up, like, actual game information. Like, maybe that hurts Nicole. I don't think Janelle going around with amazing race receipts hurts anything. And it's oddly, I, I feel like that's what Nicole is scared of more. Yeah, and there's also the possibility just that Janelle doesn't care enough to do yeah. this. Like, if she's on her way out the door, then maybe she's just like, you know what, I'm just going to... I'm gonna go home and see my family like yeah. there's no more game left to play right now i mean it just it depends on how she wants to help set up caser yeah. because her doing something like that may not help caser and i'm sure she wants to help caser go further and ultimately that's that's where at least i am right now with it is that i'm gonna be sad janelle goes if she goes but I still think there is a lot of hope left in this season. I, I know that there are a lot of people who drive a lot of us crazy, but that Blob Alliance is going to implode. And you have people like Kaser, like Ian, who are still there, who can try to pick up some pieces. And nothing in Big Brother is ever as predictable as it may seem, at least at times. And Tavon and Bailey are still here. I'm really enjoying Bailey more this season than the first season. I think she's yeah. playing a pretty good game. I know there was a little thing with Nicole early, but she can smooth that out yeah. and move forward. And, I mean, who doesn't love Tavon? There are still a lot of people in this game to root for. It's going to hopefully be an unpredictable rest of the season, even if we do have a predictable week. But 
hey, it's a long night. We'll be back tomorrow to discuss if there's craziness that happens. Maybe we'll have some wacky punishment. Maybe we'll have some fighting. You never know. But what do you guys think about the power of veto result? Are you sad about Janelle possibly going? Are you at least happy that she got to compete in another challenge and had a chance? Let us know. And if you like this video, give us a like, subscribe, and support us further by checking those links to the store and our Patreon. And we'll see you here next time.